morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Today my, uh, my song that I'm using as the prompts is If You Could Read My Mind. Now, <clears throat> this could go so many ways. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. Just pollen. Um, and I am fast forwarding it because it took me much longer than normal. Um, and our internet here is slowing down. I don't know if it's because everybody's on the internet. <laughs> And it's taking me like two and a half hours to upload these things on top of the art time. So, or loosely saying it's art. Um, out of, not, not that I don't have anything else to do. Can't go anywhere. <clears throat> Anyhow, so if you could read my mind. I went to one of these, I think I got this down at the beach. This is a thrift store book and I cut out a skull. I didn't photocopy it. I just cut it out because, hello, I can't use all this stuff. As I'm going through box a day, trying to clean things out slightly, trying, 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 um, it's like you can't possibly use all this stuff in your lifetime. So anyhow, if you could read my mind, at the top of my skull opened up, you would know that I love sloths. It's my spirit animal. Yes, yes. And I like collage, obviously. Um, there is a lady I follow on Instagram. Her name is Claire Young. I think is how she spells her name. Let me double check that. I have that up on right here. Um, yeah, Claire Young. I think she's in the UK. She does gorgeous collage animals with papers that she paints and cuts up and doodles on and I just like the aesthetic that she uses so I'm trying to replicate and she was in uh Daphne's diary I think it was last month's edition or this month and last month's edition if they're every two months I can't remember how they come out um there was a nice article on her so I thought well let me try this I have all these painted papers and I aspire to be you know like this and I, for some reason I thought I had to cover all that up well it, it's going to get covered up with paper but anyhow, so I'm drawing a sloth. If you could read my mind, you would see that there's a sloth in my brain. So imagine my head opening up and seeing a sloth. It's my spirit animal. The sloth is lazy. I am inherently, inherently lazy. Um, I, I just truly think somewhere in my lifetime, somewhere in my reincarnated state, if, if you believe that. I don't know if I believe that. I was a sloth. No doubt about it. And I was probably queen of the sloths. <laughs> Anyhow, so, <coughs> sorry, I just have tickles because of this pollen. It is literally trying, it's been raining off and on since yesterday. And it's only raining hard enough to make all this pollen paste. And it's just everywhere, everywhere. So, in the middle of pollen, in the middle of rain a little bit, I'm watching videos. I'm watching a tiny bit of the news in the morning and a tiny bit at night just so that I can know what's happening um, with all of this stuff, this new life that we're all leading. Um, and I'm lim that's it. I'm limiting myself because it can drive you crazy. It can make you mad, especially if you live in the United States and you feel like I do about all of this. Um, yeah. Anyhow, no more, no more, no more. This is my mind, and this is a uh, coronavirus free zone. And I'm doing some corona comfort. I am making a sloth. And over in the middle of the night, I came up with my plan for April. It just popped in my head. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm doing that. And I'm not going to tell you what it's all going to happen. But it's going to be another month of prompts. I think I might work in a traveler's notebook this time because I haven't done that size. Well, I did that size for my Missouri trip. but which is still not quite finished. I need some journaling in it, and that's the hardest part for me. Um, I think I might just go ahead and type it all out and then do it um, and print it. So I'm just making stripes and colorful shapes, and uh, again, not unlike a quilter, there are circles, there's diamonds, there's just all kinds of bright colors creating this sloth. And I thought I would do it like this. Um, I wanted to do a spread like this this month, no matter what I made. 
Um, but then when this song came up, I'm like, oh yeah, if you could read my mind, you'd know that in there, it is a sloth screaming to come out and lay in a tree all day um, in a warm climate uh, with plenty of food or frappuccinos brought to me. Um, what are y'all doing for food and cooking? We have food. Um, it's the toilet paper that is shortage. Is, uh, we did get some the other day. My husband did. Um, he saw a Dollar General, actually, that had a truck backed up to it. And actually, people were getting the toilet paper from the truck driver's hands as he was unloading his truck. Um, it never even made it into the store. So, And they're limiting you to, like, two packets. So we got two packets of eight, I think it was. So we're good for a few more days. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, my sloth is coming together. I'm just shapes. Just shapes and a little bit of stabilo here and there. Um, and they're not as pretty as Claire Young's, but I, in my head, the point is coming across. And she does doodle more than I'm doodling, I think. But, I mean, I did want it to look exactly like hers, but anyhow, she'll never recognize this as someone who aspires to have her work look like hers, but that's okay. Um, as if she would know where I am. It's cold here still. It's supposed to warm back up by the weekend. We still don't know the state of the beach house. If the beach house is done and one more piece of furniture comes in, because we're still waiting for one more little end table for the TV area, which we hooked three end tables together uh, to make like a credenza underneath the TV that's hanging on the wall. Um, and they came in different colors. Don't ask me. It's just been a kabox, the whole thing. So, and they told us it would be about two to three weeks for that end table to come in. Well, we're going on two months. I know, silly problems, I know. But anyhow, we're not going to go down there um, twice, so we're trying to kind of wait. Now, this was his face, and I didn't want to put a lot of color on his face. Um, in hindsight, I might have used more of a uh, solid color, semi-solid, uh, in all of this. But it's okay, I just took some colored pencils. And made little dots in the part where his mask is not on his face. And then his mask, I just made a very light tan. Um, so we might go back to the beach. I don't know. My husband actually is now getting the lady that runs the suite of offices where he has his office is um, going to transfer uh, all his calls to his cell phone automatically um right now there's a message on it it said you know please call this number da 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 da, da if no one answers <laughs> but um and our governor has changed a couple laws that pertain to his clients so um to keep them able to stay in business as long as possible um and some of that is hooked to the tourist industry so obviously it has slow to a crawl. Anyhow, he still wants to be able to have his clients reach him if they need him. Now, his big clients have his cell phone number. But so he's going to be working from home or remotely so we can actually go to the beach and not feel guilty about maybe some of his clients not being able to reach him because they can't. Um, but anyhow, um, and that just gives him peace of mind, actually, more than anything, because I can't imagine his he's only working till like noon every day right now. Anyhow, and that's just until his mail comes in. Um, you know, he just He's just dedicated <laughs> and bored. Um, it's a reason to get in his car and leave the house. Uh, so my sloth has come together. He's hugging a tree. The original tree huggers were sloths. Yep. Um, I love this. Oh, and he's so cute. He's hugging his tree. So if you could read my mind, this is what it would look like. I didn't want to do anything to the tree. I just wanted to make it look like he was holding on to something. I really, really like this. Um, I will do this technique again and try to make it um, improve upon it. Because this is very satisfying. Uh, oh, really cute. Really cute. So, if you could read my mind, you would know there's a sloth hidden in there somewhere. That will never, ever be affected by coronavirus. Oh my goodness, I hope the sloths around the world are not affected by it. Anyhow, anyhow, 
So we have a few more days left. Let's see. Tomorrow is the tw the 24th for you on this. So we have seven more days. Okay. And I have them all labeled and we're ready to go and loving this. There's that article. So thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Y'all stay safe, stay kind, and stay smart. See you tomorrow. Bye.